welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell today we are doing a different type of video. I am doing a 0 to 100 full glam New Year's chill realistic get ready with me. Today I wanted to show you like prepping my skin, doing a face mask, doing my hair, doing my makeup, and then picking my outfit because I still don't know what I want to wear. So yeah, it is a little bit late in the day too late to be drinking coffee but here we are so i just wanted to do a super realistic chill get ready with me i love watching get ready with me's where i feel like i'm actually getting ready with the person so i'm going to start out with skin by going in with my current favorite face wash for my acne this has been my go-to lately to cleanse my skin this is my second bottle so i'm almost have gone through two full bottles and this is the oil-free acne wash from Neutrogena. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my face and prep it for a face mask. The mask that I'm going to go in with, this is usually the one I use before like an event or before I'm putting on a lot of makeup. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores. I don't really have an issue with pores, but I find that this is just the best detox mask and it just makes my skin feel super, super smooth afterwards, which is what we want for makeup application. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash cleanse my face with this guy and then go ahead and put this on set a timer for like 15 20 minutes now washed off and my skin feels so smooth and clear and amazing. That mask is seriously the best to use before makeup application. I don't put a lot of effort into my hair but there are certain products that I like to use and tools that I like to use to make it look the best that I feel like I can make it. So I'm going to show you guys that today. I never really do hair stuff but I always start out when I'm styling my hair or using any heat on it. I use the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protectant. Three sprays on each side. So I always, always, because I have naturally curly, frizzy hair, I go in with my Eva NYC straightener. I've had this for years. I got it at like Marshalls back in the day. And I straighten the top parts of my hair because I have cowlicks and some of my hair tends to just like crimp and look weird. So the first step I do is going through and straightening the top of all of my sections. And then I curl afterwards. It just gives me a more smooth, look and today we are playing with a new heat tool i received this just over two-ish weeks ago just before christmas from a pr company on behalf of conair so this was sent to me to use this is the conair infinity pro curling wand curling iron not curling wand i used to love curling wands and i still kind of like them but I prefer more traditional curler more of the time. I find that it holds my curl. I don't burn myself as much and I like the width of this curling iron. So I'll link it down below. I'll link everything I use down below. So I hold this for a couple seconds. No rhyme or reason. I try my best to not burn my ear. And then same thing, wrapping it in the curling iron and twisting it up. And that is how that part looks. So I'm going to go ahead and do my whole head, bottom portion of my head, and then I will catch up with you guys when I get to the styling products that I use. So I'm pretty well done curling this half of my hair, so I wanted to show you guys the two styling products that I like to put in it. First is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Original Smooth Serum for medium to thick hair. I like to massage it, warm it up in my hands, and then I go in and smooth down my curls with the serum. This is 
is the finished hair. I like it. It is very sleek and then more curly on the bottom. I like the more loose waves and I'm happy with how it turned out. So now we are done prepping the skin. We are done masking. We are done hair and we are ready to move on to the more exciting for me portion, which is makeup. I'm gonna go figure out what I want to do for makeup and then I will meet you guys in my room to do that. So I started off the makeup look prepping my skin with the Good Molecules Priming Moisturizer and the Catrice Fresh It Up Primer and just massaged that into the skin. For foundation, I went in with the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation and first applied it with a brush and then decided to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Then for concealer, I used my absolute favorite Too Faced Born This Way to conceal all of my spots as well as my under eyes and I blended that out with my Real Techniques sponge as well. To set my under eyes I used my favorite Cody Airspun loose face powder and kind of baked my under eye area and then I went in with my MAC Studio Fix powder and applied that all over the rest of my face to set everything in place. Next I went in with my favorite Benefit Hula bronzer and bronzed up my skin on the sides of my face and on my forehead area. For a highlighter, I opted for a more blinding option and I went with my Pixi Highlighter Duo and applied that on the high points, cheekbones of my face, my cupid's bow, and my nose. For blush, I went in with the Becca blush. This is a new one to my collection and I have been loving it and I applied that all over my cheekbones to give a nice pink flush. Then I went in with a combination of my Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde and applied that firstly and then went in with my Smashbox pencil to pencil in any sparse areas and the front portion of my brows. For shadow, I used the Catrice Basic Bay eyeshadow palette and I started off with the shade Squad, just blending that into the crease using windshield wiper motions. Next, I went in with a slightly darker brown and took that back into the crease to deepen things up a little bit and then I went into an even deeper shade called Man Crush Monday MCM to deepen the outer V outer area of my eye. For eyeliner, I went in with my Marc Jacobs Liquid Black Eyeliner and opted for a rather large, intense wing because after all, it is New Year's. Next, I went in with a Rimmel Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 Liner and Shadow Product and I intended to outline my black liner with this, but it transferred really badly, so I ended up just covering my whole eyelid with this wonderful gold shade shade and then I helped blend that out with a brush to make it look a little more seamless and less intense. And then I went in with a Rimmel lip product. I will link it down below. I can't find the name right now and I'm in bed. And to top that off, I went in with this Maybelline lip gloss in collaboration with Summer McKean and topped off my nude lips. And then for lashes, I used the Sephora Collection Lash Stories Lashes in Ouch and applied those to my eyes. I'll try my best to link down below anything that I can find. This top is from Boohoo. It's like an off the shoulder, cute bustier situation. And then this skirt is from Zara. It has a tie and it's actually a squirt. Super comfy and it flares out in the back. Flattering and cute. This wasn't at all what I planned on wearing, but I think it'll do. I have star hoop earrings on. These are from Forever 21. This video has been such a struggle to film, so let's get into the outro, but I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. So here is the finished, completed makeup look, hair, skin, outfit, everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that I can get it up in time for you guys to see on New Year's. I hope you have a safe, 
happy healthy new year's so like it if you liked it subscribe if you aren't already it would mean a lot to me and as always i hope you had an absolutely awesome day have a great new year's and thank you so so much for watching bye